My name is Charlotte Green, and I've been driving the bus for four years. And I'm here today to give you my perspective on school bus safety. I use a reward system. I give the students tickets that they can redeem at the student store on Friday. I also give them stickers. This helps to deter negative behavior before it even occurs. It builds confidence in the students and can lead to a better school performance. It teaches them accountability. I've had a zero incident rating because I wear proper equipment. I conduct my pre-trip inspections. I practice safe loading and unloading. I keep my bus windows clean. Safety off, safety on. I always take a head count when loading and unloading the bus. I also practice checkmate, which means checking for sleeping students under the seats. And when in doubt, I use go, get out and look. What do I do to deter horseplay? I have my paper and pencil ready to take names. I also will pull over if the problem gets really bad and address the problem right there. Our friends at the Auburn Hills Police Department have a few things to say about school bus lights and safety. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Officer Brian Miller with the Auburn Hills Police Department and today we are partnering with MEMIC to discuss school bus safety. Let's take a moment to discuss motorist awareness in that regard. The NHTSA provides the following tips. Watch out for children walking or bicycling to school when driving through neighborhoods with school bus stops or school zones. Slow down, look for children walking in the street. Learn and obey the school bus laws in your state. Yellow flashing lights indicate the bus is preparing to stop, to load or unload children. Slow down and prepare to stop. Red flashing lights and an extended stop sign indicates that the bus has stopped and that children are getting on or off. So you must stop and wait until the red light stop flashing and the stop sign is withdrawn and the bus begins moving before you can move. At the beginning of the school year, I usually prepare envelopes for my parents so they'll know what is expected of their student on the bus. It helps with behavior if the student knows that you have established a relationship with the parent. I usually let them know that if I have to, I will contact your parent, and they usually know that we've talked, so it helps with behavior when you talk to the parents. I make sure I'm familiar with my route by conducting a dry run. I let the students know what I expect of them up front. 